This story is another example of how the promise of universal peace was fulfilled by the coming of Baha'u'llah and the Baha'i faith. Everyone in Stanley's village in Papua New Guinea is a member of the Baha'i community. Papua New Guinea is a country in the Pacific Ocean and Stanley's village is somewhat difficult to reach. During the generation of his parents, the entire village recognised Baha'u'llah as a manifestation of God for today and accepted the faith. How do you think they all found the truth? and recognised it so easily. Well, many years before, the village elders had, through dreams and visions, foretold the coming of a new religion. This new religion, they had said, would unite all people and help them to live as one. It would enable all people to participate in decision-making and have nine leaders at its head. The elders had prepared the people of the village for the, for the arrival of such a religion. And so they waited and waited. Then one day a Baha'i came and he told them about the teachings of Baha'u'llah who had come to unite humanity and about the Baha'i community which was guided by the Universal House of Justice, a body made up of nine members. And of course, all the people in the village immediately understood that this was the religion foretold by their ancestors. Here are some photos of the early pioneers who had gone to Papua New Guinea and the first Baha'i of Papua New Guinea. Today, the Baha'i community in Papua New Guinea have a very rich and wonderful spiritual life. And they're also hoping to build a new temple and here we see the design.